everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Sarah so today's video we're gonna be focusing on my kids playroom so I'm gonna clean it up we're gonna put some shelves up to add better organization for our books games and puzzles and then I'm also gonna go through and just get rid of any toys that are either broken or the kids don't use anymore but there probably won't be a lot to do for that because I just did this in the fall so I kind of got rid of a ton of toys then so there's not a ton to get rid of now but I still like to go through it periodically anyway so if you do enjoy today's video, please give a thumbs up as that does help my channel a lot. And if you are new to my channel, I do typically post twice a week, lots of cleaning, organization, and decluttering motivation, some baking, some cooking, and some random things in between. So if you do enjoy today's video along with other content you see here on my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. So don't forget that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you miss any future videos from me. Now be prepared I'm going to show you the playroom and it's a mess so I gotta get to this so we have some books in the hallway because I don't have a spot for them yet because I need the additional shelf the kids have kind of extended their stuff into our front entryway so I want to get that some of that stuff back in the playroom and then this is what I'm working with here so I mean the Lego table I'm not really going to do much with it just put some stuff in bins but leave some of it out because my kids do play with it um, I want to deal with this chaos over here if you will this is all the Lego stuff, so I'm just going to tidy up a little bit more. This is where the shelves are going to be going because um, right now this little shelf here is not really doing an adequate job because it's, there's not enough room to put stuff on. So we're going to take that shelf down. Put we got three more floating shelves to put here, so we'll go all the way up to there, and then we can better organize the puzzles, the games, and also the books that, as you saw in the hallway, there's no room for. And then I just need to pick up some toys because the kids have been playing so their bins are kind of out of sorts and I just want to kind of get them back on track here. And then just kind of put everything back in their home and put things where they're supposed to go. And like the kids have filled this tent with so much stuff so we need to go through that. So this is what I'm working with here. I'm going to hopefully get as much as I can done today while the kids are off at school. Um, but we'll see how much I get done. So wish me luck i have about an hour and 15 minutes to work on this so i gotta move fast so this play kitchen here is a kids craft we got it from costco about six years ago because my oldest was three when we got it and it's still really well used mostly by my three and five year old my eight year old not so much but it i definitely recommend it it's well built nothing's broken on it we've never had to replace anything on it or fix anything on it so it's lasted really really well through all three kids so i definitely recommend it if you're looking for a play kitchen for your kids so this cupboard is from ikea and we use it to store all the kitchen uh, dishes and food and everything else and i just labeled the bins it works really really well and i like that it's a low shelf so that they can use the surface as a counter space and, and such, that sort of thing and then the table and chairs my dad built for me when i was about 18 months old so it's been around for a while and the table is made with the Ar arborite countertop um, on the top of it so it's actually really easy to clean if the kids get crayon or marker or anything on it it cleans off really really easily so i absolutely love it and then this easel here that has a chalkboard has it has a chalkboard on the other side that we put on there and that's also something that my dad built when i was younger and the kids love to use it to play school or just draw on it or practice their letters or numbers so it's been a great addition to our playroom as well Um, the soft boxes and the shelf that you see here behind me are both from Ikea, so yes, I'm a huge Ikea fan. These square shelves we actually have in our craft room, our master bedroom closet, my daughter's closet, and we also have some that we got to build for downstairs for our storage room down there. So I'm a huge fan of them. These soft boxes, what I like about them is that they're easy for the kids to grab, to hold on to, um, to put back away. And I like the big square shelves because they're great for storing things that don't necessarily fit in the bin. So like as you can see, I have the Paw Patrol or airplane. And then I have a couple other things stored in there. So they honestly work really, really well and they're affordable and easy to put together. And honestly, I just love them. We have so many of these square shelves. We have like the four cube ones that are in the craft room and then the eight cube ones are in various other parts of our house. So that's what I use to store the toys. We used to have two of them in here. I got it down to one because I've been trying to whittle down the toys a little bit. So now we're down to the one shelf. Um, so we have a little bit less, but they just work really well for the storage. And then I just took some paper wrote on what's supposed to be in the bin and then use packing tape to wrap them around the soft box. Crazy 
So this Lego table that my kids have, my dad actually put together for me. So the legs are from Ikea, they're adjustable, so it's really cool. We add them actually quite high, so these stools fit underneath them. And then the tabletop is just one of those desktops from Ikea. And then I got the square Lego um, plates, or I can't remember what you call them. I got them off Amazon. And so my dad, what he did was he took construction glue and glued them onto the top of the table. And then he put, got some sort of stripping for the edge. So there's a little bit of a lift, not too high, so that it doesn't get in the way of building, but that way the pieces don't fall off the table. But actually what we're doing is we actually got a bigger table so the table is going to be substantially bigger and we're going to build another Lego table for the kids. And then this one's probably going to go in the craft room, I think, because then that way, because my daughter's now getting to Lego, so that way they can both use the table. Or my son has some bigger sets that he wants to put together that are like several different sets that kind of all go together. This way he'll have more room to build all that. So I'm really excited to see to show you guys how the other Lego table turns out, which I'm sure at some point you will see in a future video of me clean organizing the playroom. So we're gonna leave this out for a little bit longer so the kids can enjoy their advent calendars and then I'll tidy this up after. But for now, I'll just leave it. But now at least these shelves are a bit more organized. The bottom shelf over here, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put there yet, but it looks much better. A little more organization to the space and the Lego table looks a bit more organized. And this still looks a bit disorganized because I haven't had a chance to put the shelves in because I'm waiting for my husband to be home. Um, but and I have the books over here still, but those will go on the shelf once I'm able to put it in. But I want to show you guys what it looked like afterwards because I guarantee you by the time we put the bookshelf in, the kids will have made a mess of this place. So as you can see, this is not very good organization at all. If you were to pull a puzzle or game out, you would either, they'd all fall on the floor or you have to pull them all off the shelf to be able to get the one at the bottom. So this is definitely not ideal. So this is why I want to get the new shelves from Ikea. They're floating shelves. They're the exact width of the here, oddly enough. So they work perfectly and then we can get everything much better organized. Plus sign. Oh, yeah. What's the plus sign called? Shelves. Now, why is it called Phillips? Is that a guy named Phillips invented? Oh, maybe. It's <laughs> called like Robertson. But... Yes. Are Phillips and Robertson and all friends? <laughs> totally. Well, Robertson's a Canadian one. I mean, well, don't Americans like they, use it? Well, yeah, they probably use it too, but it was invented in Canada. What were the other ones? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure they probably use our screw. Yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> Our sphere is more superior. <laughs> and you can't beat the Robertson sphere. Why? It's Canadian? Yeah. Your, take your, take your <laughs> Robertson screws, or whatever they're called. Robinson, Phillips, yeah. Phyllis, Sally, John. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. Sorry. Uh -huh. Hold on, half of 43. So half of 40. Okay, half of 40 is 20. So 21 and a half would be 23. 43, right? So it would be 21 and a half plus an eighth. <laughs> Are you sure? Plus an eighth. Plus five eighths. Whatever. You know what? 21 and a half plus an eighth it works. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess it is five eighths. You're right. It's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I move on I got it, I gotta Go, 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 right
So here's what the shelves look like now that we installed them and they actually look like they've always been here. If someone came into our house, they would never know that we just put these shelves in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through because I have all of our puzzles and various games here. I'm going to go through and sort them first and then I'm going to start figuring out where to put them on the shelf. At the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy So now it's much later since I cleaned the playroom, but after the kids went to bed and everything, my husband was able to get the shelves put up behind me. So now the games and puzzles and books are all completely organized, and now we can easily access them and they're not in a big pile. So I'm so pleased with it. So I hope today's video provides you with some cleaning and organization motivation or some ideas of how you can organize your kids' playroom or some games and puzzles and books that you guys have. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it does help my channel a lot. If you did enjoy today's video as well as the content you see here on my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and join my YouTube family. So don't forget that red subscribe button and that notification bell so you miss any future videos from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!